Okay, go ahead. What are different types of sin? Like we have mortal sin, we have capital sin, and we have venous sin, like in the Catholic Church, they have something called venous sin, which is a small sin, but there's no sin that is small or big. All sin is sin. And so, like in the Old Testament time, there were three duties. You had your religious duty, you had your personal duty, and you had your social duty. And so when it came for your religious duty, people served God with a whole heart. They gave God their whole heart, mind, souls, and body. That was their religious duty. When it came to their social duty, they had their family to, I mean, they had to go to work, make money, and do their personal thing, and bring money in the home, because God does not drop money down from heaven. So definitely we have our social duty. And then we had, in the Old Testament time, you had your personal duty, where sometimes you have to be with your family, because God instituted the family. And so most of the time, sometimes we have to make our family to feel important, take our wives to places, and make our family to feel comfortable. So that is not sin. When Jesus went at the wedding at Cana of Galilee, where he changed water into wine, and uh, at that particular stage, and people and uh, drank wine, because in Jerusalem, people got a doctor of drinking wine. So I believe that sometimes people take things to become sin when it's not sin. You see, sometimes when you eat too much, people say it's sin. And sometimes when you sit to a place, entertaining you and your family, take your family to the show, people say that's sin. But I don't look at going to the show with your family classified to be sin. I mean, that is your personal duty. And when it comes to your personal duty, I mean, I don't think people should interfere in people's personal affairs, like taking your family to the restaurant to eat. That has nothing to do with changing you or changing your plan of action with God, because God knows that God instituted the family. So we have to respect our family when it comes to our family. The God fights, and then our family. And so we say things sometimes, people take things out of context and they use everything to say it is sin. People see you sitting out there, like sitting downtown, or with your family eating out there, or the umbrella, they say that's sin. I don't call that sin. Sin is a rebellion against God. When you go against God, it's mm -hmm. sin. Amen. Amen. Okay, so the difference between being sin and having to be forgiven all the time, and, and the life that that's, uh, has freedom, like you talk about the victorious Christian life. Now, th there are different benefits that we receive from Jesus and his death on the cross. One is the forgiveness of our sins, so that through the blood of Jesus shed as substitute for us, uh, we have forgiveness of sins. God offers it to us as a free gift, but now we, we need to receive it. Any gift that's offered but not received is, is in essence rejected. So we receive forgiveness of sins uh, by uh, confessing our sins and receiving that word from the Lord that he will forgive us our sins, his record in heaven, he'll cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's our record in, in our own hearts. Now, does that mean uh, we keep on sinning and uh, in fact, in Romans 5, at the end of the chapter, he says uh, that uh, yeah, where sin abounds, where sin increases, grace abounds or increases even more. So grace is even greater than our sin. Does that mean then go on sinning? Because the more you sin, the more the grace of God is there to forgive. No, Paul says emphatically, no. Uh, Romans chapter 6, he says, how can you, who died to sin, still live in it? Well, when did I die to sin? Don't you know that when Jesus died, he not only took your sins to the cross and made the full penalty for them, 
He took you, the sinner, to the cross. And you were in Christ. When Jesus died, you died with him. Your spiritual history is one with Christ because God put you in Jesus. So what happened to Jesus happened to you. When Jesus died, you died. What did you die to? You died to the power of sin. So in essence, you're, you're to be dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Also, when Jesus rose from the dead, since you're in Christ, you rose with him to a new life. Christ is your new life. 